Welcome to the Switchboard demo experience. In this demo, I will show you all the great user experience tools included with Switchfox's award-winning productivity tool, the Switchboard. The Switchboard is Switchfox's user productivity tool that gives each user powerful call control and visibility into the company's communications. The Switchboard is web-based and works in any of today's popular web browsers, so it can be accessed both in and out of the office, whichever works best for that individual user. And because it's web-based, administrators don't have to worry about installing software on a user's computer and be concerned concerned with Windows or Mac compatibility issues. The top of the switchboard provides several tools and options to help you communicate. First, we have the dial box. The dial box allows me to enter a phone number or extension and create calls straight from the switchboard. I also have the layout editor button, which allows me to custom design switchboard layouts for my workflow or job role. Next is the My Status button, where I can control the status that I give out to the world. Here I can change my status to Available, Away, Do Not Disturb, and more. I have the ability to create custom status options through my user portal that will show up here as well. Lastly, I can add a status message that lets me enter further details about what's going on with me so other employees will know. The next button is My Notifications, where I can see notifications that have occurred in the past. I can set up these alerts or notifications with the next button, Settings. You can set up notifications for different events that occur on the switchboard, like new voicemails, incoming calls, chats, and more. Settings also lets you choose the converged phone you are currently using so that the proper device rings if you make an outgoing call. Lastly, I have my profile, where I can return to my user portal to access more Switchbox features or log out of Switchbox. The Switchboard provides the ultimate in customization for every employee. Switchbox provides each user with a layout editor that allows them to customize their switchboard to best fit their workflow and job role. Not only can users create layouts, administrators can create them and push the layouts to users to save everyone time. Let's take a look at how a user would create a new layout. To create a new layout, I simply click on the Layout button at the top of the switchboard. Here I have several options. I can select the default layout, select the layout I've created or that's been created for me, edit my existing layout, create a new layout, copy, or delete a layout. Let's create a new one. Let's name our layout Reception and build a layout for a typical receptionist at a business. For the next step, we need to add the widgets needed for this particular job role. For this job role, let's select My Calls, Parking Lot, Contacts and Tags, Voicemail, and My Cues. Once you've selected the appropriate widgets, you can now change the layout however you see fit. The layout editor gives you the ability to control the size of each widget, as well as guide you on where each widget will best fit to create a clean and even look. Once you're done creating your layout, hit save and you're done. Simple but powerful customization with Switchbox. The Switchboard provides powerful training tools for managers to ensure that employees are performing as taught and to give live help during calls. By clicking on the headphone icon in either the contacts and tags or the queue member activity widgets, you have access to the monitor, record, whisper, and barge features. Monitor allows a manager to listen in on a call to make sure employees are doing as trained. Record gives the manager the ability to record an employee's call on the fly. This recording can be sent to your email so you can listen to it whenever you see fit. Whisper allows a manager to listen in on a call and talk to the employee without the customer hearing. This gives the manager a way to help with the live call without the customer knowing anything happened. Lastly is Barge. Barge lets the manager barge in or become part of the call to provide assistance if it's requested. As you can see, Switchboard provides the perfect tools to train your staff. One of the great features in the Switchboard is the My Calls widget. My Calls allows you to control incoming calls and handle active calls. When a call comes into your extension, you have the ability to transfer the incoming call, send it directly to voicemail, or ignore it. Once the call is answered, you have several options, including to put the call on hold, transfer to anyone in the organization, park the call, record the call on the fly, or hang up. Transferring a call is simple using the My Call widget. Just click the transfer button, select the user you want to transfer to from your queue activity widget, contacts and tags widget, or directory panel, and hit complete, and you're finished. 
the My Call widget is the perfect tool to help you easily and effectively manage your communications. The Switchboard is the place to manage your contacts and tags. The Contacts and Tags widget is my hub for all my contacts and information about my contacts. Here I view the important information for the groups of people or individuals both in and out of the organization that I choose. You can see that someone is on the phone with the green indicator as well as see who they are talking to if you have permissions to do so. I can also click on any user to pull up their contact card. The contact card includes valuable information and tools to help you interact with that user. Let's take a look at Jay. By clicking on Jay, I can see his email address and initiate an email just by clicking. I can see his status or presence, what groups or tags he belongs to, and his extension. I can interact with Jay with the dial, transfer, dial voicemail, intercom, chat, and video chat buttons. As you can see, the contacts and tags widget delivers the information and tools you need to communicate. The Switchbox Switchboard includes easy voicemail management with the Voicemail widget. With Switchbox, gone are the days of having to dial into your voicemail and cycle through all your old messages to get to the one you really want. The Voicemail widget shows you all the voicemails you have, both new and old, and allows you to listen to them on demand. I can also call the person back or forward the message to another user straight from the Switchboard. Managing your voicemail has never been easier than with Switchbox. The switchboard includes a powerful parking lot widget. If I have a call that I want to put on hold and make it available for anyone to pick it up, I park it. I just click the park button in the My Calls widget and the call is now on hold. Now, anyone can see that call in their parking lot widget or their parking lot app on their Digium phone. To pick up the call, just click it. Now you can easily park calls for anyone in the company without touching your desk. One of the great features of the switchboard is the ability to monitor and view real-time information for queues that you are a member of or a manager over. There are four widgets in the switchboard that provide valuable information. The first widget is the queue overview. Queue overview gives a manager overview statistics for the queues they choose. They can see the number of calls waiting, how many members are in the queue and busy, and see how many calls have been taken, missed, or abandoned that day. They can also see the average call time for each queue. The queue overview widget also has the option to have a notification set up if a certain wait time is exceeded. If a call exceeds the wait time that a manager chooses, they can be notified in several ways. The next queue widget is the queue member activity widget. In this widget, I can see each member of the queue and their current status. I can see their login status, whether they are on the phone or who they are talking to. I can also see if a user is on a queue call or on a non-queue call with this indicator. Lastly, I have access to powerful training tools like Monitor, Record, Whisper, and Barge, as well as access to the user's contact card by clicking on it. Next, we have queue calls waiting. This lets a manager know how many calls are waiting in the queue and for how long. You can also set up notifications for this panel to ensure you are alerted if customers are waiting longer than you'd like. Lastly, we have the My Queues widget. This widget gives queue members the ability to log in and out and see their own statistics so they can track their performance every day. Powerful, real-time metrics for your queues with the Switchbox Switchboard. Another great feature of the switchboard is the directory. The directory is a centralized place to access anyone in the organization. It can be expanded or hidden to give you more switchboard room. The directory includes all the available contacts that I have access to, as well as a complete internal company directory that is completely searchable. So if you need to find somebody, just type their name or part of their name and they pop up. It includes not only user extensions, but conference rooms and call queues as well. I can also have the directory organized by tags. Tags are groups of people that are typically organized by department or job function. For example, here I can see all of the salespeople in my company. The advantage of tags is they give the administrator the ability to manage these groups globally for the company. As they update the tag, when people enter or leave the company, everyone's directory and widgets update as well. I can also see that people are on the phone as well as their status with one glance. Lastly, I can click on the contact and see their contact card, where I can dial, transfer, chat, or email them with a single click.
One of the great communication tools available today in the Switchboard is the ability to chat or instant message. It's really easy to do in the Switchboard. The first step is to find the contact you'd like to chat with in the Contacts and Tags widget, the Queue Member Activity widget, or the directory, and click. That brings up their contact card. Let's chat with Steven. At the bottom of the contact card is the chat button. Click on chat and the chat dialog box appears. Here is where we type our message. Hey Steven, how's it going? Many times, instant messaging is the most effective and efficient way to communicate, as you can get an instant response. Now let's say we'd like to see something visual from Steven. The switchboard also includes video chat. Let's go back to Steven. You can see that video chat is available in the contact card. Click on the video chat button and you'll see the video widget appear. Once you give the switchboard access to your camera and microphone, the chat will begin. Hey Steven, how's it going? Great, Michael. I just wanted to get an update on the Anderson project. How's it coming along? Okay, the Anderson project should be wrapped up in the morning. Great. Let me know if I can help. Will do. Simple and powerful communications tools available for everyone in Switchboard.